So example number two. So example number two, part A reads, find dy over dx for y is equal to x squared plus x minus one. Now, if we have a summation of functions, we need to differentiate each term separately. So let's try the first part, part A. So back to the paper in pen. So y is equal to x squared plus x plus one. So let's work out dy by dx. So for the first term, y is equal to x squared. When I differentiate, so remember, multiply by the power. So two times the one in front is two, so it's two x. Then subtract one from the power, two minus one is one. So plus, remember the quick notes that I made when differentiating a constant times x. When you differentiate a constant with x, the answer is the constant. So if I differentiate one x, the answer is one. And remember the other quick note, when I differentiate a constant only, the answer is zero. So if I differentiate minus one, the answer is zero. So the solution to part A is 2x plus one for the gradient function. Part B is we need to differentiate y is equal to 3x cubed plus x squared minus 2x plus 10. So we need to differentiate uh, this function here. So let's work out dy by dx. So for the first term, 3x cubed. So remember the process, multiply by the power. 3 times 3 gives us 9. So it's 9x so far. Then we subtract 1 from the power. 3 minus 1 is 2. How about for the second term? When I differentiate x squared, first multiply by the power, two times the plus one in front is two, so it's two x. Then subtract one from the power, two minus one is one. How about for the next term, minus two x? When I differentiate minus two x, the answer is minus two. When I differentiate the constant plus 10, the answer is zero. Part C is to differentiate y is equal to root x plus 1 to the power 2. So let's differentiate root x plus 1 to the power 2. So back to the paper and pen. So first, before we differentiate, we need to expand this bracket. So y is equal to. So if I expand this bracket, so if I multiply a root x plus 1 by another root x plus 1. So let's have a go here. So root x times root x is x. Root x times 1 is root x or x to the power half. So I would say write your terms in the form ax to the power n as then you'll be ready to differentiate in the next step. And one times root x is root x, or let's keep it as x to the power half. And one times one finally is one at the end. So if I simplify, if I add the like terms, I have x, x to the half plus x to the half is two x to the power half plus the one at the end. So this is what you should get if you were to expand the brackets. So now we have y is equal to x plus 2x to the power half plus the 1. So now we're in a position to work out the gradient function, dy by dx. So if I differentiate x, we're going to have 1. How about for the second term here? So if I multiply by the power, half times 2 is 1. Subtract 1 from the power, half minus 1 is minus half. How about for that third term, plus 1? When I differentiate a constant, the outcome is 0. So I could rewrite our answer as 
dy by dx and that is 1 plus x to the power minus half is the same as 1 over root x. So this should be the solution to part C.